Hey guys, just at home getting ready for this weekend. I'm gonna be cooking live with Chef Ming, and these are the ingredients. So we have some carrots, edamame, which I love. Um, this, I don't know what it is, but it looks like some raw fish. Um, shrimp, <laughs> green stuff. Um, I don't know what this is. Sorry, I'm really bad with names. And all of this, so we have sesame oil, this, Oh, Jose Andre, you make your own olive oil. And then we have the legend, Jose Andre. Such incredible work you're doing, by the way. I am just so proud of what you're doing with everybody. Now we have the one and only, the incomparable Paris Hilton joining me. And uh, why are we here, guys? We're here for Family Reach. I literally wear it on my head. We're the only national charity that financially helps families with cancer. The COVID crisis has brought it to reality. A medical emergency causes a financial emergency. That's what cancer families deal with every single day. Paris, please meet meet Carla Tardif. Carla's the CEO of Family Reach, and she Hello. Gonna, she's going to explain to you who, who you're cooking Hi, for. Paris. Family. Go, Hi, Paris. Paris. No, Paris, you are cooking for Paisley. She is the sweetest, sparkliest little girl. She lives here in Boston, Massachusetts. She was diagnosed with leukemia. In October 2008, sadly, Paisley's dad passed away just a few uh, short time after she was diagnosed. So now a single mom, zero income, two kids. Paisley is now in maintenance treatment um, and is, has to go to the hospital for treatment. So really scary times. Thank you, everybody, for, for supporting us and supporting Paisley and Family Reach. When we found out that you care, like we're involved with this, wow, like that's, amazing like our like jaws like hit the ground we're like wow Paris is cooking for Paisley I want her just to live a happy and healthy as much as four-year-old life so that's our goal every day just keep going right Aww. you have such a pretty smile hey, thank you so much thank you. Thank you. You're welcome beautiful and I'm sending you guys so much love and good energy and vibes and Paisley happy early birthday and can't wait to get your address so I can send everything to you. And yeah. just keep being so strong, sweetheart. You're so strong. You're such an inspiration. You're a super girl. You're a rock star. You're awesome. <laughs> and I'm just so proud of you and so happy to meet you. We have a $20,000 match for your segment. So we can raise 20K, we're going to make 40K. So that's all because okay. of you. So thank you for that. And I'd love to do a quick shout out to our presenting sponsors, Time and BW Quality Foods. And then second sponsors, we have PRBT and Be Bold Bars. Thanks, so, guys. Let's come down and let's make a, can we make a cocktail first? Yes. Yeah. So do you have a I'm shake? I'm obsessed with peachy. Let's fill up your shake with some ice. Huh? I, I know you know how to make a cocktail. I've never made one of these. Are we making a lychee martini? We're making a lychee margarita. Margarita. So we're going to shake the margarita. We're going to do two parts of Santos tequila, one part lychee puree, and one part lime juice. Okay. You should have some limes they gave you as well, right? Yes. So two parts Fair of the puree, then one part of the lychee puree, right? So two, one, one. And w the one lime would just be the juice of one lime will give you about an ounce of lime juice. All right? Yes. So the puree. And do you know this trick, Paris? You know about rolling your limes? If you roll your limes on the board, it kind of breaks the membrane and it makes them a little bit juicier. Roll it? Roll it, yeah. Use use your use your right or left arm, your strongest arm, and just push it and roll it, and it kind of squishes the lime, and it gets it gets the limes juicier, right? So do you have do you have one of these um, squeezers to juice the lime? You got one of these? Do you you have one of these? Oh, you do. Fantastic. So cut your lime in half. Okay. And then we're gonna shake it up. Do it. You're not, Nikki's not in your house. You're not going to feed her some food. Okay. There you go. So, two, one, one. Hopefully, you enjoyed this cocktail. Cheers to you, Paris. Thank you for joining me. Cheers. Cheers. And cheers to everybody watching and supporting. Thank you all so much. It's so important to give back during this time. Yeah. And I'm just so happy to be a part of this. So, thank you, Ming. No, you're welcome, Paris. Thank you. Cheers, Paris. We're going to um, we're going to cook. Um, 
let's cook the steak and the salmon, right? Do salt and pepper on both sides, both both the meat and the fish. Get both sides. A lot. We got Matt just gave some money. Gina and Ashley just gave money as well. Thank you guys. It's fantastic. So do it to both things that. Um... Yep. Salt and pepper, salt and pepper on both sides of the steak and both sides of the salmon. Okay. This is my first time cooking salmon. Really? Uh, All right. I'm more of a lasagna hard. girl. <laughs> I saw your lasagna. It looks awesome. That yes. looked, it looked like a twenty. It looked like a twenty-pound lasagna. <laughs> it was. Get two pans on your stove, or you can do it in one pan too. If you don't mind the juices mixing, I mean, it's not. It's again, if there's no food allergy, it's not a big deal. So you can just use one pan, or you can use two. Yeah. Up to you. You got a beautiful bottle of olive oil from Jose Andres, right? We're going to use that to cook with. All right. So what? grab your oil, your salmon, and steak, and we'll put them in the pan. It's yeah. really good. So just pour yes. some in. It, it comes out a little slow, so get it going. Pour about a tablespoon in each of your pans. A lot? About a tablespoon. Yeah, just coat the pan. Just so, just so the pan is just lightly coated. What if it has, like, a lot in it? Like, like yeah, that's perfect. Lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's good. That's perfect. Right, so you have, are you, are you using one or you can use one or two pans? You can just use one pan if you want. If that's easier for you. I, I feel like I don't want to mix the fish with the meat. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead. Bring your steak and salmon back there, and go ahead and lay the steaks. Lay the steak down in one pan, nice and gently. You should have a nice sizzle. I'm with you there, parents. I also have two pans, and I'm gonna lay my salmon. Lay the salmon skin side down. All right. Put the skin side down first on the salmon, so we'll get the salmon skin crispy. Grab yourself a little bowl. We're going to make a little edamame salsa for the salmon, all right? So just okay. a glass bowl of any size. It doesn't have to be glass. It could be china. It could be bamboo. Perfect. So just grab about a tablespoon of raw onions and put a tablespoon of raw onions in the bowl. You have some edamames, right? So I, I'm going to add about two handfuls of edamames to my raw onions. All right, you have your edamames there? Yep. Awesome. And did you have that little baggie of those fine herbs, beans, herbs, as they're called? Oh, I'm going to stop like burning. Yeah, just turn them on medium. Uh, I had them high, I don't want to Okay, well, here, you know what? Uh, Paris, grab your pair of tongs. Let's see if your salmon, just turn it around. We want to make sure it doesn't burn, right? Turn it around? Yeah, no, but you see, this is my salmon. That, that's how... That's how dark I want it. So if your salmon skin is already brown, then give it a flip. Perfect. Nice. Yeah, no, it's perfect. This is, looks just like mine. Perfect. Okay, so now you can turn turn your pan on, on low. Turn your salmon pan on the low medium. And how's your steak doing? Your steak should have good color too, right? Does your steak look like that? This is This is what my steak looks like. Nice and brown. How's your steak look? Yeah, perfect. Give that I'm just brown. So, go ahead and turn that pan also to low medium. All right, between low and medium on both pans. Awesome. Okay. Paris, you're a chef. I love it. Got the edamame out. All right, so you got the edamame. So we're going to add a good two handfuls of that, right? Right into your bowl with your edamame. So two mm -hmm. nice handfuls. So oh, goes right into your a little bit of onion and a little bit of edamame. All right. Do you have a Do you have a lemon or lime that you can juice? Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna. Do you have lemon or lime? Um, both. Both. Okay. So let's go ahead and juice. Let's juice a lemon, half a lemon, into this salsa. Right. I, yep. And your hands are clean. My hands are clean. So I juice into my hands. Why? Because sometimes there's seeds. Right. You don't want seeds. So this is gonna add the nice acid we need in this salsa. Grab this, you have some sweet soy sauce there. The cucumber sweet soy sauce, the oil. Yeah. So just add about a tablespoon, just a dash into the salsa. Okay. About a tablespoon. All right. And then we're gonna add just about, I don't know, 10 drops of sesame oil, not a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sesame oil is delicious, but really strong. You don't need a lot of sesame oil. <laughs> your sister says she's hungry. Parents, <laughs> Sticky says she's hungry. So I guess you got to 
I'm starting. Is Nick, can Nikki cook? Is she a good cook? Not as good as me. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding, Nikki. No, she's actually a really good cook. Is she's she? actually an amazing baker. She loves to do cupcakes and cakes and desserts. Oh, fantastic. She can cook um, anything. So, and do you have that little plastic bag of the fine, of the fiend's herb? It's just the herbs that are chopped up. There should be a little Ziploc bag. Okay. You, you have that? Yeah. So put a big handful of that into the salsa as well. Big just, one? Yeah, like that. Nice, okay. nice little big, big pinch. And you can mix that all around. And as always, right, once you mix it, give it a try. You got to try it. How's that, how's that taste? It tastes pretty good to me. Mm. You tell me. Oh, my God. It was insane. Good? Awesome. I've never right. made a ceviche in my life either, so I'm so excited you taught me how to make this because I'm going to eat this all the time. <laughs> You're the best, Paris. All right, insane. do me a favor. Go up. Mm -hmm. Get your two plates you're going to plate on. Put a piece of salmon on one plate and put, and put your steak on the other plate. Bring them towards their board, please. So, Paris, we can... Do you have a large platter? A platter? Yeah, do you have a, a platter like this? Or you, we can do... Yeah. We can, we, can play, we can play both on one dish, right? We can do salmon on half and do the steak on the other half. I think that'd be fun. Okay. Cool? Got it. All right, so... So go ahead and turn your pan on high. Uh -huh. Your steak was cooked, and then I'm just dumping about about a half a cup of onions into that fat. That's the beautiful beef fat and a little bit of extra virgin olive. Getting all this disgusting and, stuff out first. And what we're going to do is make kind of an onion soy sauce for for this whole dish. I'm Great. For so long. I like a double oven. That's nice. Thanks. So Paris, open your watercress up, all right? You like watercress? Yes. Fan? So take it, take a big hand and just lay it down on your platter. Yeah. A nice pile like that. All is right? this already washed or do I need to wash yeah, it? Yeah, it's totally washed. Triple wash. Jose Andres' oil. Drizzle on top of your watercress. You just lay it out. Like that. Just to give it a little fat. Just a touch of salt and pepper. Just a little right. salt. And a little pepper. Okay? And you should have about half you should have about half a lemon left, right? Yep. So we're gonna take the half a lemon and juice that on the watercress. So right. classic vinaigrette, acid and pepper, olive oil, lemon juice. Right? So now this is our base, it's gonna hit steak on half of it and salmon on the other half. Cool? So do me a favor. Grab your bottle of tamari. The other bottle. You always use the sweet story. Now grab your other bottle. And let's go, let's go to your steak pan, and we're going to deglaze. All right? So I have a spoon. And deglazing means I'm going to add <clears throat> about three tablespoons of soy sauce to these caramelized onions, and that's going to become a sauce. All right? Okay. So look, this is about how much I'm adding. All right. We just got a $5,000 donation from Peter. That is unbelievable. Thank, Thank you. you. It's all you, we Paris. Love you. All right, did you add like three shakes of soy sauce to it? I did like 20. 20? Okay. Yeah. All right, so it should be I reducing. Love soy sauce. And we're going to lay it and shingle it on top of the watercress. Yeah. So you see what I'm doing? I'm going like, what's it about? A quarter inch, half inch slices. Take your time. No rush here. Let the knife do the work, right? You got to make sure you let the knife go through. You don't want to rip your steak, right? Nice yeah. sharp knife. I'll send you one of my knives if you need one there. Thank you. My knife sucks. Half my watercress like this. Okay. All right. Give me your plate. Oh, there it is. Nice. That looks fantastic. Thanks. Money. All right. Now, put the salmon on the other half. Put your nice piece of salmon on the other half of your platter. Your go. Okay, go get your steak pan. Right. Your steak pan has these caramelized onions. Right. You should have caramelized onions with the reduced soy. Awesome. Okay? Your sister is impressed with you, Paris. Yes. Uh, add a little more olive oil to your onions there. Just a little okay, bit. Guys, something to admit. Um, I couldn't find the onions, so I just pretended they were onions, and I put them in, but they're edamames, and they're all burnt. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's called blackened edamames, and you did that on purpose. Stay with confidence. Yes. It doesn't matter. But go ahead. But still put some olive oil in there. Put some on. Uh, right? Are they okay? Uh -huh. They're not black, are they? They're fine, okay. yeah, as long as they're not black. So go ahead and put some olive oil in there. 
Okay. Perfect. Okay. Good. So then take, so take your imaginary onions and olive oil, and I'm gonna, and if you have onions, you would do this. But go ahead and put the edamames, and you lay it all across the steak like that. All right. So next time, I will come to LA and bring you onions, and we'll do it again together. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And now this, this take spoonfuls and put it all over your salmon. Just cover all over. It. Almost hide it. Yeah. And then people will be like, oh, I wonder what's under that salmon. You're a chef. It's a restaurant. You're a chef. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this is why we're here, guys. We're here for Paisley. Paisley's a family to each family member, and she's doing just fine. We're helping her out because she has a single mom, and you can imagine the challenges right now during COVID with dealing with cancer. I can't. Thank you enough, Paris. You're so awesome. We raised fifty-two thousand six hundred dollars because yes. of you. Woo! That awesome. brings us that to makes me so happy. Five thousand dollars now. So that's amazing. You really make us all smile, and that's an awesome thing. Not everyone makes people smile. You do. So thank you. And thank you. I think it's so important for everyone to do that. Just bring love and light and happiness into the world, especially during this time. And you do the same thing. Always have such an amazing personality, a huge heart, and you make the best food. So thank you for always blessing us with fun and food. Oh, that's, it's my pleasure. It's, it's great. It's great to call you a friend, and a big cheers to you. Hopefully we'll see you soon, somewhere, somehow, sometimes. I hope you guys enjoyed my cooking video. Make sure to like and subscribe.